Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nisrina Darmayanti And I would like to explain my powerpoint The title of my, my powerpoint is Be a more confident public speaker So, public speaking There is a unique fact about public speaking That 70% of the population Is half a fear of public speaking A lot of people when they try to speak in front of other people they show an anxiety habit because they have high threat anxiety when they try to speak in front of other people. And it shows that a lot of people are difficult in public speaking. But don't worry because he, in my PowerPoint, I would like to deliver some tips to you. There are triple P method. You can call it triple P method. The first step is prepare, prepare, and prepare. Why did I have to say it three times? Because prepare is really important. When you try to speak in front of other people, when you're going to speaking something in front of other people, first, you have to know your subject. You have to know your subject backward and forward. And then for make it easier, you can uh, write down WorldCast worksheet and then you write down your idea. A major point of idea from idea one and idea two, idea three, and then etc. You have to write down the major point that you want to get across to the audience. Get your idea and then you can head it into the paper. After you uh, find your major point or your idea, you have to know exactly how you are going to present it to your audience. You have to start ordering those points, those major points, in a logical manner and arguing your points to the audience step by step. The step is first, hook, intro. You have to hook the audience. You have to hook the audience to get their attention, to get their attention. After you get their attention by you hook the intro, you have to throw your supporting evidence. Throw supporting evidence to your argument by personal stories or something that will start to convince the audience that you are talking control. And then after that, you have to land a powerful conclusion. Powerful conclusion. Landing blower statement that's memorable, convincing, and can sum up your speech's position. And next step is the thing that you are have to be careful about is posture and physicality when you are going to speak something when you're going to public speaking please avoid large meals or dairy product right large meal or dairy product because when you are uh, going to speak something it will make you feel like you need to clear your throat incessantly and then it feel like you want you to throw up after you eat large meal or diabetic so you have to avoid it and then water it's really important to drink water uh, if it import if it possible you can bring a bottle of water on stack if you are alone and then you don't be afraid to take a sip of the water throw good your speech because it will keep your voice natural and it gives you a moment to pause and regularly accomplish it if, you, if needed so trick is really important and then stand natural by standing naturally not too stiff or not too slum it will make you it will help you breathe and speak easier by stand naturally it let your audience know that you are calm and in control and the next steps is pander to your audience when you are public speaking, speaking something in front of other people, don't be completely serious. Don't be serious unless the occasion calls for it. And then don't write the entire of the cards because it will uh, make you lose your out audience tensions. And then if something not uh, well, you can throw a joke and then you can make the audience laugh if there is silence just turn it into joke so don't be too serious because you have to know the position of your audience okay i think that's all from me thank you so much for your attention assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh